Hello, hi, and welcome to today's Unity video. We will continue where we left off last time. So we will add some more animations. This time it's going to be a two-dimensional animation. We want a pop-up menu. And we want a pop-up menu in the following sense. Right now we have it when we finish a level by reaching the goal, boink, we just hop on to the next one. I do not really like that. Let's give it a little bit more flow. In that sense that we will have an end level screen that could display uh, a time, how long it took, the points, uh, but we don't have that yet. So I want three other things, which is I want buttons, uh, restart level, next level, or quit to main menu. So the standard buttons that basically all level based games have. So to implement that, we will just go on our game controller. Right, that's the one we have, and we will add a two dimension, a two D animation, a canvas, a UI, a user interface animation, in the same sense that we did it the last time. So we won't really have something new this time. We will just look at stuff that we already had and polish it a little bit, and apply it in a different sense. So let's go in our game controller, hit the Alt button, and then go into the um, Shift button. Oh, I'm in the game view. Sorry, I'm in the game view, uh, Alt button, there we go. Um, in the game controller. Right now, the game controller is empty. We've got scripts in it, but that's it. Uh, what we want is a UI that pops up when you um, have when you finish the level. So let's just create that using a canvas that we did in main menu already, and some buttons, main menu, and a simple animation that we did in the last video with the character. <clears throat> Uh, with the obstacles that the character can hit. So game controller UI, we can directly take a so-called panel and you will see this is exactly the screen size if we go on the canvas and we say scale with screen size. And let's make that 190, 120 times 1080, which is the standard size. Um, then we've got the panel and I want the three buttons on there. So just three buttons. Let's give this canvas a good name actually. So that is, uh, uh, level end, right? Level end screen or level end, whatever you want to call it. We can give now three buttons, right? Uh, but first, I want to change the color here a little bit. I want to make it a bit green so that indicates, hey, you've made it. Uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, let's add three buttons, right? Mouse button, UI, uh, and then there's button. You can make those buttons look however you want them to look. I will just take the standard button. I can just make it bigger, hold the shift button to go in both directions, uh, hold alt button to make it around all axes. Uh, doesn't really matter. Make them look like you want. I'm just gonna have the ugly buttons right in the center. Uh, that's the first. This one I wanna call uh, next level. Then I'm gonna have, this is going to be, also the text on this will say next level. You see, I'm rushing this a little bit because there's so much to do in this video. <laughs> uh, let's add on this panel another button, UI another button. Uh, let's say, let's drag that. If you hold shift while moving it up and down, it's actually, you see the one line, the vertical line is actually blue, which means I can only move it along this line. So let's make that maybe uh, minus 70 or something. Minus 70, that one is a restart level. And then we're gonna have a next one that is gonna say back to main menu, All right? So let's make another one, UI, another button. That one is then uh, minus 140, which is exactly the uh, the, the, the 70 times two um, uh, main menu. <clears throat> we have all those features already in the game. We just need to put it in the right place. And that's it. So we've got all the buttons, right? We've got them all, we got what we need. Um, there we go. So next thing that we want to do is this two dimensional animation. So therefore I will go on the, um, actually on the level end, that's where I want to implement it. Uh, go on my animation view that we activated the last time. Don't forget to add a component and animation on the um, level end that we want here. Yes, an animation on level end, right? You see this changed here, like in the last video we create, let's create that into our folder animations. Let's say that is end level. And 
let's change things around a bit with the play with the with the uh, button here with the record button let's say in the beginning it should actually not be visible at all um, and then after a second I want the background to be visible just a little bit not not too much maybe a hundred the same we can do with all three buttons so I can grab all three buttons at once I say at maybe 130 so it's a little bit delayed right maybe it's at 140 it's a bit delayed i will also um make them visible fully visible and i will only start this i can drag those buttons here uh at maybe 0 0.4 seconds how does, it, does all of this look like uh it looks weird because we do not start at zero actually uh this should not be visible here like this all right and then we will have buttons showing up and the same we need to do with the texts as well all right these three uh let's say here they actually are invisible and then in the end i want them all visible fully done so now we have this nice little animation right? and in the beginning <laughs> Because they were visible i also want them invisible whoops here we go nice little animation right nice little end screen we could also while we're at it sure why not i don't really mind uh, let's give this a nice headline ui text let's push that text maybe a bit to the top it should always be bound to the top here uh, whoops there we go and let's make that bigger uh, let's push it down a bit maybe here and then good job three exclamation points let's ramp up the uh size here let's make that 80 good job let's put that in the center here and that's also gonna pop up right let's call it headline let's put it in the animation as well all right let's change the animation here let's have the headline start at invisible and then it will go maybe 0 0.5 seconds and then we will still see it fully done so that's how our animation looks now a nice little a nice little animation that we will see when the level actually ends now this animation will only play if we select it if we drag it into the animator uh, into the animation here so let's actually do this um there is the level end and i will go whoop, done so whenever this gets activated so don't forget to keep it not active at the beginning of the level if it would be active it would play directly um, and also don't forget to set the end level not to default but to once because it should only play once um, if we now play the level they go to my game controller i go in here and i actually activate the level now you see that's a nice that's a nice little animation and that should play at the end of our level right um so to play it at the end of our level what did we have like on our goal we have the goal script that actually activates the game controller the win lose condition if you remember from back then win lose condition there we go it actually wins the level right? now what we want to do on win level is not anymore the uh, directly go to the next level but activate that game object the, the canvas that we just had so here we go public game object whoops not game controls game object that one is win panel there we go and what i want to do is not directly in winning the level we do not directly load the win panel uh load the next level that's what we're doing here we're saving our progress and we load the next scene we don't want to do that we actually want to activate the win panel win panel set active true done now what we also want to do whoops that doesn't go in here that actually goes there what we want to do is we don't want to have the loading of the next level directly when we reach the goal so what we will do is actually make a no a new function public void uh, load next level and now the stuff that we want for loading the next level which is basically this 
goes into the function. Now we can actually access it when we hit the goal. If I put it in here, then we would automatically load the next level. I don't want to do that. We want to load the next level when we hit the button. So this goes on the button, right? The same is with resetting the level. So I also want a function for resetting the level. When we click the button restart level, reset level or restart level, because I call it restart. So that's one, when we lose the level, we're actually reloading the scene. That's not exactly what we want to do. We want to reload the scene when we restart the level. And that should actually also happen when we load, uh, when we lose, right? So now we are more adaptive. I can say load next level, next level is loaded. Restart level, the level is restarted. And as the last public void go uh, or load, well, whoopsie, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> public void load main menu. All of these will go on the button and they will also go on somewhere else. I can put those everywhere. I've got already on escape. I want to do this using this function here, All right? So scene manager, load scene, main menu. Good. Now we can use those on the buttons, All right? That's why I did this. We can use those on the buttons. Let's also, let's do that. Let's first test if I didn't break anything. I just, I went, I did this really fast. So watch the video in half the speed. Let's see if I can actually do this. So now, <laughs> You see this? That's why you always test. You see the script has not been assigned, right? The script has not been assigned. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. You see the win panel wanted to open. I, we haven't had, we did not assign it. So game controller, let's drag the win panel actually in here. Sorry, that could happen to you as well. That's why I did it. Not because I forgot it, just to show it. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. Boom. Good job. There we go. The thing is right now, the buttons are not linked. So we need to link the buttons to the function. So let's go into the game controller. Let's activate the buttons so we can see them. Next level, we've got a button function. On the button function, I actually want to put the game controller. And in the game controller, we have our win-lose conditions. And there we have next level. Where is it? Load next level. The same I'm doing with the restart button, uh, game controller, win, lose, load, next level. And the same I'm doing with the main menu. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, this one goes in here. Load, next, uh, load, main menu. Moink. So that's what the buttons do. You will see it won't work. <laughs> the last thing in this video, sorry, it's been 50 minutes. Whoops, I still have it active. If I have it active, of course, it restarts. It starts at the beginning. Sorry for rushing this. I hope you're having a great day. So when I reach the goal here, you will see it pops up. Hey, I win. And now I could, I can't click. I cannot click any of the buttons. Hmm, that's strange. It worked in the main menu. You didn't need to do anything. And here's a very important thing. When you work with buttons, right? When you work with buttons, you have to have in your scene, in UI, you have to have the so-called event system. If you do not have the event system, it doesn't, the game doesn't recognize your button presses. So now I have the event system. I restart the level. I press the button. Hey, that actually, did it load the next level? Did it, is it the next level? Did I link the function wrong? Probably did. Here again, I cannot press. I will need to go to uh, UI, add, an, add, add the uh, event system main menu. The main menu worked. Why did the, why did the other one not work? Um, so make sure that you have your whoops. That's the wrong. That's the wrong thing I've got open. Load scene, next level, reload scene. Ah, did I? Did I connect the wrong function in here? Load next level. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you select the correct function. Uh, restart level. Of course, that's what we want to do. So we've got this. We've got this. Make sure to add the system the ui and then event system to every scene in which you need to work with a ui 
So I could add it to the game controller itself. I don't want to do that because then I could have multiple event systems in the scene. I want to do it individually in every scene. So make sure that every scene that uses a 2D interface has the event system. So my level one has it, level two has it, level three does not have it. So I'm gonna edit here, level four does have it. Main menu has it because we've been working with this already. And now we should be fine with a little bit of 2D animations with a little bit of um, more UI. We polished it a little bit. We've got buttons now. We've got the end screen for our level. I'm just testing it now. There we, there we go. It should show up and I can go to the next level. I can also go and uh, load, restart the same level. I can also go and go back to the main menu. So we didn't really learn anything new in this video. Sorry for wasting 15 minutes of your time, <laughs> uh, but we polished a bit. We've got now a very, very important function and I hope this will help you in the future, right? Um, yeah. If this is any helpful, if you have any contents that you actually want to learn about, put them in the comments below. Um, wish me a nice day if you feel like it <laughs> in the comments below. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. There's new content frequently. So stay tuned, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, bye, bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>